This video is going to be a demonstration of that geet rod phenomenon. This is a geet rod that I used in that reaction chamber while I was operating the engine to see what would happen. But this did pick up that special magnetic characteristic that others had talked about. And to demonstrate that characteristic, I'm going to use this ordinary compass. The red end of the pointer points north, that's the north seeking pole of the little compass magnet. And first I'm just going to hold a piece of non-magnetized rod around the compass to see what happens. This rod is the same stuff as that uh, geet rod, except it was just a cutoff piece. There's nothing special, it wasn't used for anything. We'll just hold it up against the compass and see what happens. The camera is pointed straight down at a table, so this will be the horizontal plane that I'll bring this rod towards the compass. And I'll bring it a little closer so you can see. You can see on this end side here, it's attracted. I drag it around. You know, it's attracting. Attracting, attracting, and this side, tracks, attracts, and this is just the non-magnetized piece of steel rod I cut off from the same longer piece of rod that I cut this uh, reactor rod out of. Now I'll hold this. Again, this is just the horizontal plane. Bring it around, bring it around. This is just a horizontal plane. You know, the same here, it's attracted to this end too, just like that non-magnetized piece of steel. And now, watch what happens when I turn this perpendicular. I might have to change the camera angle in order to see this. So now I'm holding this perpendicular to the compass. This is up and down. I'll bring this end towards the compass. And it's now repelled. So the compass needle is the north seeking pole of its magnet. This is a tiny magnet in this compass, and this is the north seeking pole, and we call that the north pole of a magnet. And light poles repel. So when I bring this down, it's repelling. So this end of the geet rod is now acting like a north pole of a magnet, just like the magnetic compass needle. And now when I turn this geet rod around towards this other end, this now is starting to repel. Not quite as much as the other end, but it's still repelling. And now that's acting like the north pole of a magnet. See, it will repel, and as I bring this geet rod down, I'm pushing it down, it's starting to attract this end. And now I can flip this rod around, and now it's attracted to that end, and I bring it up, it's repelled. A little bit stronger on one end, the rounded end, than the other end. I'll try that again. Attracted. Repelled. Attracted. Flip it around. Attracted. And repelled. Now I'm holding it on the horizontal plane again. And so it's attracted. But as I start to tip, a little closer, as I start to tip this end up, it starts to repel. I'm just turning it up. And it's repelling. What I heard about this geet rod is that it gets magnetized and then it has reversing poles when you flip it up and down. But what I think is happening is that this rod 
is just twisting the magnetic lines of force of the Earth around. Because on the horizontal plane, you know, it's attracted both both ends is attracted to it. It's just when you start to position this in a perpendicular up and down direction that it repels. So I'm thinking on the horizontal plane, it's just channeling the magnetic lines of force just straight through on either end. But when you start to turn this up so it's perpendicular, it's twisting the magnetic lines of force of the Earth and then it becomes repulsive to that North Pole like that. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if anybody really knows what's going on, but that's my assessment. I think it's just uh, channeling the magnetic lines of force that the Earth has, the magnetic field of the Earth, and it's twisting it when you hold it perpendicular. It doesn't happen on the horizontal plane. You think it would, but it doesn't. Or even when you hold it like this way, north and south. On the horizontal plane, it doesn't seem to affect the Earth's magnetic field. It's only when you turn it perpendicular up and down is the one that's having an effect and attracts that side, and then you can flip it around, and then it tracks the same side. I don't know what causes this to happen. This is really odd. So, flip it over, and you bring it down. I'm going down, and it's causing it tracked. It's just in the perpendicular direction. Attract. Flip the rod around. Attract it again. Repel. Attract it. Down. Flip the rod around. One end is just a little bit stronger than the other end. Try to get my fingers out of the way. I'm trying to hold this horizontal. Go down the rod. So it's acting like it has poles on this geet rod, but I think it's just twisting the Earth's magnetic field around. That's what I think is happening. How it's doing that, I have no idea, but it is doing it. I'm trying to hold my fingers out of the way, getting a close-up. So that's the phenomenon. The claim is that when a geet rod demonstrates that particular magnetic property, it means a plasma reaction is taking place, breaking the fuel down. Well, there's no way I can verify that. But it's that magnetic property that I find so fascinating because it's, it's like it's unreal. I made a couple of these rods. This one is uh, three and three quarter inches long, and this one is like four and three eighths inches long. I haven't seen any difference in engine performance with in either one of them. And like my idea is trying to explain, is that it could be just twisting and bending the Earth's magnetic field around to make poles on these geet rods, because I haven't seen any indication that these are actually getting magnetized and then reversing the field. I guess that's one way to look at it. But I was thinking that maybe it's just bending the Earth's magnetic field. Say, if this way is north and that way is south, and when you're just holding it horizontal, the lines of force could just be passing like straight through no matter which way 
you turn the rod, but when you hold it perpendicular up and down, it's like the lines of force would be coming in here and bending them down. No matter which way you turn the rod, they just could be coming in here and bending them down. So that's an idea that I was kind of thinking. But I think this magnetic property is just so unreal and otherworldly. I wanted to share that something is happening special with this. Something is happening to the metal in these rods. And it's just, it just boggles my mind.